Welcome to Upstart Spring Racing Preview. Yes, we have significantly increased our budget here at Upstart because we've gone away from the surrounds of La Trobe University and made our way down to the Coliseum of the Spring Racing Carnival Flemington Racecourse. And we're here at the Malua Racing Stables and we are very, very excited about that because it's a very exciting day this Saturday. The best day of racing in the Spring Racing Carnival calendar, Derby Day. I'm Ben Waterworth and he's a very networked man to get this kind of gig. Very charismatic with the punters and even more popular with the ladies and to some extent males as well, Ben Asgari. Cheers, I'm happy about that intro, uh, Benjamin. You but uh, Yeah, no, it's a pleasure to be down here at Malua and uh, at Flemington. We've just got to dodge this horse that's walking past, actually. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's great to be down here at Malua and Derby Day. It's best, not just the best day of racing at the, uh, at, uh, the Flemington Carnival, probably the best day of racing anywhere in the world, actually. Okay, so the best bet for this Saturday is Sister Madly. She's down to race in the Salinger Stakes at Flemington, and we actually have we're down at the Malua Racing Stables at Flemington this morning. We're with Troy Corston, who is one half of Malua Racing, arguably the country's most exciting training partnership. The other half, of course, is John Sadler. So Troy, how is Sister Madly looking ahead of her big assignment at Flemington on Saturday? Yeah, really well, Ben. We've um, she's come through her last run. Nicely, we uh, had a few issues with her pulling hard early with against more joyous, and I think it cost us the race. So we've changed the gear up a little bit, and she'll wear a kite noseband on Saturday. And uh, Damien Oliver's out testing on her right now. Okay, so she was, as you said, she was very brave over 1400 metres against uh, more joyous at Caulfield. She was super the start before back to 1200. Is that the thinking that 1200's her best distance? Yeah, when we got her, we we, we always thought that she was purely a sprinter, but we were going to try and stretch her out to get to the mire. Um, she just showed in the in against more joyous in the Tristark that it's not going to happen. So uh, we got we got to work with the horse and uh, back to 1200 we come. So 54 and a half kilos on Saturday. Damien Oliver on board and she, she worked well this morning. Uh, she's just trot and canted, so it's nothing serious. But um, she she worked well on Tuesday morning. Uh, she went down the straight and Damien rode her. He was very pleased with her. So full steam ahead to Saturday. So who else have you got uh, going forward? I noticed uh, that Darren is just in behind us here in the stables. He's nominated on Tuesday and Neriani. And who else have you got lined up for the carnival? Uh, we've got Bondichuk as well in on Tuesday in a 1200 listed race down the straight. Uh, Baron's probably going to just struggle to get a run a little bit. Um, Neriani probably our best for the week, I reckon. She's uh, she's going really, really well. So a little tip there for the uh, the viewers there. Neriani on Cup Day and. And there's no other ones you can sneak in for the uh, for the, uh, the viewers at home. So Neriani, you reckon's the best? Yeah, probably. That's about it, I'd say. With the country, arguably the country's most famous and uh, awarded jockey, Damien Oliver, the star of the the movie The Cup. Uh, Damien, aside from racing, what was it like having the the movie made about the, the famous media puzzle Melbourne Cup? Yeah, it was a bit weird then seeing a piece of your life up on film and a um, uh, bit overwhelming at times, but um, they've done a great job with it and I'm really pleased with the way it's come up. So uh, back to the racing, you're, uh, you've got the, the derby ride on Sabraj on the weekend, are you looking forward to, uh, to, that, to that mount? Certainly am, He's, the horse is in great form, last start winner and worked really well here on Tuesday. Got an awkward draw, um, drawn wide in barrier 16, but um, if we can overcome that, I'm sure he's going to be in the finish. And uh, Glass Harmonium in the McKinnon, he missed uh, he missed the start in the Cox Plate, but uh, the McKinnon looks a really nice race for him. Yeah, if you take away his last start where, um, you know, there was quite a lot of mayhem actually at, at the barriers there, and he was one that was a bit misfortunate missing the start. Um, he's got great form before that, and if you can just forgive him for that one blemish in the Cox Plate, he's going to be right in there with a chance. And uh, we've made uh, Sister Madly the best bet for the upstart viewers. Uh, what can you uh, give us about her chances on uh, on Saturday? Yeah, she's been in great form this preparation. Um, just over raced a little bit last start, so if we can get her to settle, uh, we're trying a few little gear changes. Uh, she's going to be right there. And have you got uh, one little one? for either Saturday or over the carnival for the upstart viewers? Um, quite keen on Sister Madly, just yep. hope she relaxes for us and she's going to be hard to beat. Okay, thanks Ollie, thanks, really mate. appreciate it. Okay. Well of course it is Derby Day as we just said and the big race of the day is of course the Victoria Derby, the Group 1 run over 2,500 metres. Benny, we, we were talking off air beforehand, it's probably not the greatest field of all time because it's headlined by a red-hot favourite in Manawanui at the moment who is 
the punters are just drooling at the moment over Manawanui, and for good reason as well, I would have thought. Yeah, well, he won the Vars, and, the, and history says the Vars is the race you want to come through to win the Derby. This year, there are only five runners. Uh, it was odds on, about a dollar twenty shot he, uh, sure. in the Vars. Uh, history also says Norman Robinson's don't. Norman Robinson horses don't don't do anything in the Derby, so you can rule out Sabraj, uh, you can rule out Sangster, you can rule out Niagara from Gay Wardhouse. Mm -hmm. So it pretty much leaves you with Manawanui and the uh, Peter Snowden train in Juna. Mm -hmm. uh, I. There's got to be a query over Manawanui at the distance. I'd about a two dollar favourite. You'd have to risk him. There's better races to bet on on Saturday, so don't bet. Him. And if you have to have something, maybe have something each way in Juna. Avoid the tickets for the Derby. Do not bet on this. Another big Group One race on Saturday afternoon at Derby Day is, of course, the McKinnon Stakes and. The favourite at the moment is Rekindled Interest, who was a little bit unlucky in the Cox Plate, but did come in third in the end. Quite a good race from Rekindled Interest. Can you see any other horse beating that on, on Saturday? Yeah, I can, Ben. I Ooh. actually like I like the old boy efficient, the top the number Fox. one. Yeah, the big efficient. He's uh, he's he, he'll back up after the uh, Cox Plate. He ran yes. a good race. He was the first to get going on the corner. He finished sixth in the end. But um, Flemington's his track. He's a Melbourne Cup winner. Yes. He's a Turnbull Stakes winner. Don't worry that he's had a couple of years off the scene and that he's an old horse. He's going as well as ever. The fact that he's backing up is a testament to that. And uh, he, he'll get back and he'll be hitting the line hard. And around about $10, I think you can have something each way on efficient in the McKinnon stakes. $10 each way on the grey old Foss. We've got Group 1 races coming out of our ears on Saturday afternoon. Another one is the Meyer Classic Run, over 1,600 metres. And a couple of weeks ago, Benjamin, we told you to get on more Joyce. It got up, and it's the favourite for this race. Should we be getting on more Joyce here? Well, there's rumours going around that she's not right, that Ooh, she's, she's not, not right. at she's not at her best, and that she's over the top. However, a win against Sister Madley the other the other mm. week at Caulfield when we uh, when we got the chocolates yes. for, for Upstart would probably say that I'd, I would say that it's hard to say she's not right off that win. Uh, she's drawn the car park. She's got barrier 13. Mm. But this field's no harder than the other one. She should win. Uh, she's about $2.60. Fair enough. If At that price, I'd be happy to back more joys. Yeah, even though she's in the car park, get on it. That is all we have time for on Upstart Spring Racing Preview. I'm a little bit sort of overwhelmed by all this, but it's been a pleasure to come down. Thanks to Malua Racing and to, to Troy Corsons and Jod Sadler who've uh, opened up their stables for us. Very nicely done. Good networking from yourself, uh, Benjamin. Good luck punting on the weekend. Yeah, cheers, Ben. Uh, it's always exciting, Derby Day. Sleepless night the night before. It's like Christmas for, uh, for me, <laughs> Christmas Day. <laughs> Christmas Day indeed for all you horse racing punters out there. Make sure you stick around on upstart.net.au, of course, the magazine for emerging journalists.